What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the Windows Movie Maker not enough memory error message that keeps popping up when people try to save uh, high definition videos, uh, no matter what the length is of the video. So I had this happen to me on two of my laptops. The first one had pretty poor specs, so I kind of just chalked it up to the laptop, but then when it happened to me on my second laptop, I figured there was some issue here and I wanted to find a solution. So what happened on both of them was when I first started using Movie Maker on the laptop for high definition videos, I'd have no issues saving my HD videos that were usually between 5 and 15 minutes long, but I noticed over time the render speeds got slower and then eventually I would get to a point where I could not save any HD videos. It would just maybe halfway or a quarter or three quarters of the way through saving the video. It would pop up a message on my screen that says there's not enough memory to save the file. Try saving at a lower resolution. Now when I go into my computer, I can see that I clearly have more than enough hard drive space for it. So this was kind of puzzling to me. And I did some researching and I found a solution that works perfectly for me and I hope it works for you guys too. There are three to four things that are key to this method. Obviously having Windows Movie Maker is one of those things, that's a given, but you're going to need to have this little black green computer screen icon down here. That's Task Manager. Every Windows computer has Task Manager and if you don't know how to access it, you can go over to the Start menu and you can search task manager and you can find it and once you find it I would highly recommend that you pin it to the start menu or you make an, uh, a desktop icon for it because that's just going to allow you to access it easier and I use this very frequently as I'm going to show you later on in the video so if you can make a shortcut to that and the second thing you're going to need is you're going to need access to your temporary folder Pretty much all Windows computers are going to have this temporary folder and the path to get to it is going to be your hard drive, users, and then whatever your username is, for me it's just the word user with a lowercase u, app data, local, and then the folder name is going to be temp with a capital T. Now inside this folder there's all sorts of temporary files and what these temporary files are is for example uh, when Movie Maker runs and you you drag a little video clip in there, it'll say we're loading the video clip, we're loading the audio, and then once it's loaded, you can continue to edit it. But if you delete that video clip and then you drag it in again, what you're going to notice is it doesn't need to do all that loading again. And that's because it created a temporary video file in the temporary folder, and that's how it's able to just load up instantly again. Now what happens is these files often don't get automatically deleted, especially with Movie Maker. So if I drag a video into Movie Maker and it does the loading thing, it makes another like identical video file in my temp folder. And then even if I delete the original video, it's still in the temp folder and it's still taking up space. And that is the problem that happens over time and I'm pretty sure that's what causes it to work at first and then stop working after I've done a lot of Movie Maker editing. When I first did this method, I had 9,000 items in my temp folder that were taking up 44 gigabytes of space. So the very first step I had you guys do was create a shortcut for task manager on your desktop or start menu. Step two is going to be to create a shortcut for the temp folder, that way you can get back into it again easier and you don't have to go through all the different folders to find it. And step three is going to be to clear out the temp folder. Now if you don't want to take my word for it, you can do some little researching yourself. Um, to find out whether or not you need these files? The answer is no, uh, short and simple. These were temporary files that you needed at one time but no longer need. If you clear out this folder, that'll simply mean that you've deleted all these temporary files that used to be used for, say, editing in various programs like Movie Maker. So you're gonna clean out this folder, you're gonna delete all the files. And what you're gonna do for step four is one last thing that I sometimes do. If you ever do voiceovers in Movie Maker, you're going to go to the section where your voiceovers get saved to. It's typically the music folder in Windows. And you're just going to delete all the voiceovers because for the most part, at least for me, these were all old ones from videos I've already completed. So I don't need the voiceovers anymore. They're still taking up space on my computer and they're still kind of like holding cache in Movie Maker. So I'm going to delete all these voiceovers and all the files in the temp folder. And then I'm just going to clear my recycle bin. And what you're going to notice is these items are taking up a lot of space. 
Now, in this particular example right here, there weren't a whole lot of items in the temp folder, there weren't a whole lot of voiceovers, and they weren't taking up a whole lot of space, and that's because I periodically delete and clear these folders to keep things running smoothly so I don't get those errors. That's why I had you guys create a shortcut for the temp folder, that way periodically you can clean it out and delete everything in it, and you can keep Windows Movie Maker running smoothly. Now. The reason I had you create a shortcut for Task Manager is because right whenever I'm going to go save an HD video and I want it to start rendering, right before I start the rendering process, one thing I like to do to kind of put less stress on the CPU um, so that it doesn't give me that not enough memory error is I go into Task Manager and I just end any processes that are completely unnecessary and really shouldn't be running. This includes like my printer, iTunes. Um, my capture card for my Xbox. These are all things that are running in the background and really shouldn't be running and there's no need to keep them running. Don't end anything that you don't recognize though. Just end the ones that you can completely tell are things that you don't need running. And I actually do that little step with the task manager right before I render any HD video because I find that it improves the render times, it makes it go a bit faster. And I also found that sometimes that would clear up my not enough memory issue as well. But all of these little things that I've told you about today, if you combine them all, you should hopefully be able to correct your not enough memory issue. I really hope I can help some of you guys out because this was a big issue that was plaguing me for a while. And I know a lot of people will probably go in the comments and say, why don't you just use a better editing program like Final Cut or Vegas. I do use Vegas for more complex video editing, but sometimes I just have a very basic project where I don't really need a lot of effects or a lot of um, advanced things. I just have some straightforward footage and voiceovers I got to do. And I do prefer Movie Maker just because it is straightforward and very simple. But anyways, guys, that's all for this guide. I hope I can help some of you guys out. If you found this helpful in any way, hit that like button below. And as always, thank you for watching from XM360.